haven't you heard of uh, First Nolly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Don't talk back. Can you explain to me the rationale behind this sheer insanity of yours? I am lenient enough to grant you an audience. But I don't think I can entertain your tomfoolery right now. The company account has been stored for over two weeks. Not even one of the employees has received a dime. What's your aim by freezing an account I'm handling? <laughs> if you are the head of the so-called company, how come you feel this threatened by just an act of freezed account? Look, let me tell you something. I have been working side by side with that all for eight years. Eight good years. Why are we out there frolicking up and down, jumping from one bed to the other with different men? Look, you have no proclivity or whatever to handle funds of the company rather than what spending them on your reckless and extravagant life. I mean, and who put her in charge? I don't even know. Stephen was the one that father put at the helm of affairs of this company. Because I mean, no sensible man would put a whore and a swine like you in charge of his company. Oh. Are you mad? And what makes you think that your dead father can dictate what happens here? You will not speak about my father in such a diminishing manner. It was your recklessness and corruption that put him to an early grave. Look, I give you 24 hours. 24 good hours to undo what you've done. If not, I will put you out, sister or no sister. <laughs> I am not moved, okay? I am not. Will you get out of this place? Friend, get out. Oh. I am not moved. You two are just two legs bulldogs. You can back without a bite. I am in charge. Do your worst. Fools. Rubbish. <laughs> you don't know who you are messing with. Oh, thank you very much, Barista. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your concern for my family. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You've been far so kind. I appreciate it. Talk to you later, though. Yes. Goodbye. Go, Hey. Hey, kid boy, what's, what's up? What's the problem? Damn, bro. It's not like I'm trying to incite you against anyone, but I mean, you're the head of this family, and I expect so much from you, and you're not doing it. And you don't expect me to create rivalries and chaos in a bit of having something to talk about with insane people. Look, we are men and they are women. But that's not the point. I mean, they spoke about that in such a derogatory manner with so much disgust. You, you, you saw that. I know, they did. But um, we can't go about having a fight with our sisters because of what dad left and who is in charge. Or what not, please come out of it. Well, you treat them like family, but what do they do? They treat us like fugitives. You see that all the time. I just got off the phone with Barista Tommy. He's the legal guardian of our family ever since I was alive. I would just follow 
suit with what he decides. Well, the point here Obiora. is... Obiora. Please. Where is my car? What is this nonsense? I mean, you took my car without my consent? Wait. How dare you speak to me in that manner? All because I took this rickety thing? Huh? Here. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Get back here. You had two cars. You had two good cars and you sold it to get high on drugs, just like a lunatic that you are. I mean, you should have learned from your experience, right? Don't you dare touch my car again. Don't you ever speak to me in that manner again. And don't you ever try this. and I will deal with you in a way you will never forget. How dare you lay your filthy hands on my sister? Are you mad? Hey, what is this hostility in this house? Come tell this imp of a brother of yours never to lay his hands on my sister again. The next time he tries it, I will burn down this house with two of you in it. Boy, she took his car out without him asking. I'm so bloody what? No, I am asking you. She is way older than him. He ought to respect her. Respect? Your dead mother who is currently rotting in hell with the devil and his concubine should have taught you that respect is a two-sided Hey, hey, hey! Kimberly! Obiora! Kimberly! You are biting more than you can chew. Listen, one day I will just stay and watch him beat both of you and I will not do anything. <laughs> Stephen, I dare you! No, Stephen, I dare you to do that! Oh, you think that thin, tiny little thing in between your legs makes you a man? Try it! Not you! Not this fool can stand in my way. Let's leave. Try it! Rob this. No, try it! Try it! I will burn down this house with two, two, two both of you in it. Two idiots. Try it, losers! Try it! It's yours. You think you are a man? I have been controlling myself. See, I don't think Miki they respect me for this house. You don't know who I be, you don't know the kind grants why I kid for this place. They respect me. 
Malgré le cas, il faut qu'il soit en train de se faire. Si il soit en train de se faire, il soit en train de se faire. Bien, bien, bien. Il est en train de se faire. Il est en train de se faire. Eh? All these things where you just talk now. Anyway, I wish you the same. See, the kind of problem that happen for this house every day. You don't turn um, some piece out. You know, some piece out for this. Plenty of things they happen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody now. Either this one is a scorpion or the other one is a soya. I saw everything that they happen for this house like this. Hmm. Eh, uh, now. Every day, na so 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 fight, na so it's supposed to be. But all these things where they happen, na those two agriculture girls they cause them. Why you no know, go say na oh, oh, those women, women, women? Eh? I be you know see what thing happen yesterday where Obiora strap him um, Tracy. Eh? Thank God say na the same mouth where you talk, take talk bad. Na he still use talk good. Eh? Thank God say you know say Tracy do overdo. Yeah. Mm, that gets every two they do. Two they do, do they jump, oh. jump. <laughs> see, make I tell you, you see all those fights where they see for this house now. And every day, war, 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 fight, fight. Now, because, say, Kambiri and her sister, they vest, say, their papa carry everything where he gets. Go pull for Stephen Hand. Yeah? So she and her sister now come the verse. And because the two of them, the senior uh, Stephen and the Obiora, now make all this war way they see so. I don't tell you, no, let me and you. For this house now, me and you, we not supposed to fight. Because me and you, don't be our papa get this house. We, as they bring me come, even though they say, I first you come here, now so they bring you come. We're supposed to be like a new and a man. You are We're supposed to be five and six. Six and what? Three day now, about one day, Calaba. Make I first correct you this one. It's not a. Kumbiri, what do you call it? Kambiri? It's not Kambiri. It's Kumbali. Ha! What Calabi may be chef, I want to know. I can't see it. I'm going to eat my You're going to eat my brother. You're going to eat I see why then they vex so they defy, defy, defy. And they look on one side and they look on the other side. Eh? Why their papa no go carry everything give Stephen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where those girls they need to stay for us? Every day, club, 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 club. They waka, 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 we lose their legs. Eh? Imagine, you know, when that their papa they are like those girls, they keep mine. They carry says. They bring men, they come this us. Oh. It's too bad. Very bad. Really? Don't worry. Just wait for me. Hi. Okay. Sai. Hey, young good for me. Oh, make ba I have finished. Yeah. I've told you to stay away from me. You could put me for trouble for this house again. Ha! Why are you from I won't go this evil coat. This evil coat. Ah! Yes. Who is there? What is it about? Ah, shut up! 
<laughs> you should be your girl, be your girl. Oh yeah, go, go, go. And come back just now. No problem. Get out! Don't thank me. <laughs> hey! Madam Abeni, now this thing may be no good though. As you find that you're not supposed to do this guy. You're still the, you're still... Madam, sorry, sorry. Eh? I beg. What do you say? I Silly. Did. I'm not the one that puts you, it's my sister. Go and break her your job. No. Look this way. Look here. Guys, this is me and my maid. Madam, I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't worry, guys, this is just as heat. <laughs> What is going on here? Bro, welcome. Eh? Bro, welcome. Okay, welcome. My dear sister Kimberly put them where they belong. Okay, I will not belong here. I will not belong for this. Kimberly! Where's your sister? In my room. Kimberly! What's going on here? Okay, okay. Why are you ranting and screaming my name on top of your lungs? What's the meaning of this? Why are you so heartless? Why do you have to put them like this? Hey, you two, get out and go and wash yourself. I asked them to kneel. My family, get out of here! Get out of here! Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. I'm just coming from the site and I was informed that you came there with some officers to chase them away. And the tenants are also complaining that you hiked the price of rent. Why? Doesn't that look like something I can do? Exactly why I'm asking you. Why would you intrude into my premises and send them off? And who even gave you the right to increase the price of rent? Why? Your premises, you said. Listen, it's not a matter of ranting or bulging out your stupid eye to show me how angry you are. It's a matter of adjusting to the new development. To what stupid new development, Kimberly? Eh? No, tell me. To what new development? Wait. How dare you shout at my sister Will like that? Will you shut up your mouth? I'm talking and you're talking. Why? <laughs> Stephen? You see that estate? It belongs to me. And the new house you're building, I am taking it to. <laughs> As what? Queen Jezebel. Okay, daughter of the universe, eh? Really? You're pushing me to the wall, Kimberly. You better dissolve into the wall. I mean, come on, Stephen. Why are you so greedy? Why are you so greedy and stupid? You have three companies, including the home utility factory. But let me tell you, you see those stuff I have laid hands on? They belong to me and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Kimberly, I'm sure you are aware when Barista Tommy came to this house and read Father's will. I vividly know you have sense to remember what was written down there. Leave my property. Avoid me. Avoid my premises. Avoid me, Stephen. Greedy idiots. Greedy idiots. You want to take everything. That's what he does. Greedy fool. Avoid me, Stephen. You will not do anything. That estate belongs to me. I will take over that new house. Rubbish. Silly. Imbecile. Now, apart from this being very insulting, that you are constantly engaged in this strife with Stephen and Obiora, I need you to understand that it's actually the meaning your father in his grave that you cannot respect the one that he has put in charge of things. Yes, I agree that both of you may be the older ones, but you need to understand that he is the one that was put in charge and you owe it to him to respect him the same way you would have respected your father had it been he is still alive and what makes you think that i would have respected my father if he was to be seated here today a man who neglects and relegates us from his wealth due to gender sentiment why on earth should i respect him no Kimberly, you're getting it wrong your father did not relegate you in that way. He actually gave you what is due. And what is it that was due for my sister and I? Some stupid pure water company and two houses in the slums? 
Why didn't he give those to that imbecile called Obiora? This is your father's way that we are talking about, the way that he prepared himself. You should respect that. And let me tell you, this endless war over will is absolutely uncalled for. Aren't nonsense. Young woman, you should not be talking to me in that uncut language. I have stayed mute for as long as this cooked up and inciting charade ensued. What do you mean by cooked up? It's your father's way. He wrote it. I didn't write the way. I give no hoots about that. I figure that the reason everything on that will went south isn't only because the will itself is a total goof, but you connive with those two and masterminded it all. You think we don't know? Oh no, my sister and I are aware of your shenanigans. And trust me, Barrister Tommy, we will not sit on the fence. Of course, my sister is right. We know you. You see, eh? <laughs> you ladies amaze me. Actually, you amuse me. I, I thought you were intelligent, smart. Now, you are tenacious enough to know that people may elect to alter with all things, but nobody alters the will of a dead man. <laughs> we will see about that, Barrister. Now, if you continue like this, I am going to be forced to see this as an offensive incursion and a direct affront on his personality as the pivotal figure in that family. And I am going to encourage him to put you out. Nice diction, Barrister. But you are talking rubbish. Let's go. Ma, everything's intact, ma. This is the bank statement. How much did you send? Um, 8.5 million naira, ma. Are you mad? Did I ask for 8.5 million or 10 million naira? Ma, that's all we have in that account, ma. I can see you always want to put your stupidity on display. Is that the only account we have in this company? Every other account have a change of signature in them. And no one else in the company has access to them anymore. Ma, Mr. Steven is now the sole signatory to every other account. Leave, I'll fix this. Uh, Ma, sorry, you know it's not safe to smoke in here. The facility is a no smoking arena. How dare you, dummy? It, it could cause fire outbreak due to it, Ma. You know what? I need you out of this premises this minute. Come back on Monday and get your retrenchment later and I'll leave. Ma, please. Will you get out of this place? Please, Ma. Sir, please, I need this job. Please, sir. Bernard, did I not tell you you can retain your job? Go back to work. Okay, sir. How dare you change the signature of this company to having one stupid signature calling the financial shots of the company? Go back to work. Which work are you talking about? Didn't you tell him I fired you? You have absolutely no right 
to fire anybody from this company. The only person that has that right to fire any person from this company is me, Kimberly. You are overstepping your boundaries. Get back to work. Thank you, sir. And to think you actually came into my office to smoke in a non-smoking facility. And you are the kind-hearted employee that came to correct your wrong. And the next thing you could do is to relieve him of his duty. Mr. Man, need I remind you that this office belongs to my father and I have every right to do whatever I deem fit in this premises. And you have absolutely no business to reverse what I do in this company. You have no right to come in here and give any order of such. As long as I am seated here, I am the only person in charge. I give you two hours to put me back on the signatory of this company. You know me. In my office. Steven, I had always trusted and respected the fact that you have the propensity to handle escalating issues. And uh, your ability not to allow the altercations from your sisters and their indignity, their attitude to get the better part of you is actually is a quality that is very rare. Thank you so much, Barrister. Barrister, my sisters are becoming too belligerent and it is already... Belligerent? I understand that. Belligerent. Uh, Barrister, you don't live with us, so you won't understand. I understand everything. I understand everything. Uh, I had actually spoken with them in as much as I know that uh, what I said to them, they may not have bought it. But I made it clear to them that if, if they fail to come up with better attitude that I will have you send them out. <sighs> I made it clear to them. And I sincerely believe and they understand what that means. <sighs> I've been able to um, tell the tenants to retain the apartment. So what about the work at the, at the, at the site? Oh, it's in progress. It's in progress. Barista, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all you do for my family. No, you don't need to thank me. I am doing exactly what your father asked me to do. You know, he asked me to be the watchdog of the family. And that is what I'm doing. Kimberly, your sister, has always been like this. But I want you to understand that I believe that she's going to get tired along the line. <laughs> First, if it's Tracy, uh, I, I believe Tracy could get tired. But Kimberly, Kimberly's too stubborn. <laughs> she's, she, she's a woman king. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> she's going to get tired. I can bet you on that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Boris. You're welcome. What a gossip this fool is. Get out! Wow. 
Pepe soup and white rice. Let me ask you to make fish pepper soup or chicken pepper soup. Madam, I think say you say me guy. No fix, I beg, no fix. I hear very sorry, I beg. Can you imagine this? Will you shut up? Huh? Look at this invalid I pay every month. Ah, madam, madam, not be you they pay me, oh. Now cast Stephen. You keep quiet and shut that gutter in your face that you call a mouth. Huh? Why is this thing watery? Is, did I did I request for river baby pepper soup? It's so watery. Why? Mm. Eh? Why is it watery? Yeah, no are you are you crazy? Ah! Are you are you crazy? Ah! Take it away! Madam, Madam, no. Madam, Madam, no, 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 I, I am sick and tired of this idiot, redundancy, and inability. I'm Madam. sick. My eye, my eye, my eye. Get out! Madam, you don't kill me. You don't kill me. Casse-t-il vous? la bosse today, oh. I want to tell you to talk to me with slangs. No vest. That one no go cause problem. Casse-t-il vous, mana? Is you so good on a class four? There was a trouble here today. What are you trying to say? If you see combination of army 
police, civil defense, man no war. Huh? Even Boy Scouts, all of them, they enjoy it. They come here today. No be small problem. Oh. They begin to chase my Tracy. They they chase up. She they run around the compound. They they chase up. Even police follow this way. I mean follow this way. This one follow this. Way. This is for the defense. They don't feel catch up. Now today I know say that girl now Nigeria you send boat. Hey, hey, the female fashion. Is this a joke or something? Tracy again. Me joke. <sighs> How could they joke with this kind of thing? I be joke. Oh. They push you and push you and she run, 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 run. I said she they run, run, run. So they immediately. I don't know how they don't catch him. She jump from here. I say jump, bam. Now he enter that backyard. I say enter, bam. He go jump, enter that uh, uncompleted building. I say enter there. Then go there. Search, oh, search, search, search. Even they go carry that dog where they, I don't know where they go. That dog where they get big head. They go search there, finish, come out, say they know see him. They come, they want me. Say make I, make I. Them all. I now say make I tell you, they no see him. They can't go. It's okay. It's alright. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know say month not the end. Though. You say your sister that one a problem. Before you go I hijack my own salary, I be the problem. No, take a look at yourself. It's my life. Why will you walls in here to insult me? What is it? Oh, shut up! When you, when you, when you, just listen to yourself. Just look at you. Just take a look. No, take a good look at yourself. Your mates are out there doing well in tech. Some of your age mates are even married, having a beautiful family. And what are you doing here? Inhaling and exhaling substance. First of all, it is my life and I choose the way I live it. Plus, why, why would you budge in here? What is it? What do you want? Clearly I see. The only thing you deserve is to rust behind bars. Because saving you from the law enforcement agency is totally a bad idea. Well, those fools found the substance in my car. But the, the very annoying part of it all is that why would they chase me to the house? Why? That will never happen again. You know why? The next time they come to this house looking for you, yeah. I'll make sure I give you up. You deserve to rot game, but... No, really? Nonsense. Then stay out of my business. I never beg for intervention. Stay out! Please, is there anything we can do about this issue? The only reason we've been lenient enough is because of the respect we have for you and your late father. You see, Tracy has been a major thorn in our flesh, to the extent my boss knows about it now. You know, he actually ordered for her arrest. You see, bad enough, his special assistant was present the day, had, had substances of marijuana, Cocaine and other hard drugs were found in the trunk of her car. What? Jesus Christ, are, are you serious? Um, officer, what do we do? Let her rot in jail! Open your eyes! Yes! Well, she deserves to rot in jail, like he said. Yes. But, just for the sake of respect, we will reduce this to a bail. Uh, thank you very much, officer. Thank you, we really appreciate this. Boys, moving. Right, you idiots! Kimberly, watch your tone. Or you get out of my room. Stephen, you had the balls to connive with those roadside criminals in the disguise of security agency to throw my sister in jail. How dare you? No, Stephen, tell me. What more do you want from us? No, talk to me. What do you want? You have taken everything from us. The houses, companies, estates, businesses, every bit of what the dead man left behind. It is yours. What do you want? Now your plan is to destroy my sister and I, oh, let me make you a promise that I will not be alive and watch you fulfill your mission. She's going to rot in jail forever. 
Now let me see how your ranting and shouting and da 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 is going to save the day. You have crossed the limit, but trust I'm me. I'm sick and tired of trusting your silly ass. Huh? Kimberly, what is your problem? My brother and I have been taking care of you both. When, when in our church sense, the, the reverse is meant to be the case. When we're toddlers, what were you doing? You were busy teaching your sister how to sniff cocaine. Cocaine! What you're doing to us affected her emotionally and psychologically. Don't you get it? And you are here, threatening me for saving your silly ass. Now, let me tell you something. If you have nothing important to tell me here, you know, get out of my room. Bet me. Steven, I will mess you up, bet me. I will deal with you. Get out of my room! Bet and see! You want to mess with me? Bet me. No, Steven, you want to try me? Bet me! Bet me! Steven, bet me! Look at this idiot! When has there never been? Dad, what is wrong with Kimberly? What did she do this time? She withdrew 50k from the company's account. Wait, wait. The 50k, I hope you are not saying about 50 million. Exactly what we are talking about, Dad. She withdrew 50 million there from the account without anybody's permission. And that money was meant for the construction. Can you imagine that? Where, where is she? Tracy! Tracy! Daddy! Dad, you call. Why is everyone frowning? Well, you're quiet, but call your camera and your sister. Don't let them be calling you now. Kim? What's going on? Why is everyone shouting? Are you okay? Can't you see that dad is seated here? Dad, you called. Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you withdrew 50 million naira from the company's account? Without any permission. What nonsense permission are you talking about? Who is going to give us such permission to withdraw 50 million naira? What is she going to do? Is she telling soldiers? Now listen to me. Return that money to that account if you don't want to see the cruel side of me. I'm sorry, Dad. I already used the money for something important. You must be mad. You must be mad. You use 50 million for some. What would what, what, what be important that you use 50 million? Dad. 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 Are you guys okay? Like, are you normal? Are you seventy? Father, don't you think she deserves a second chance? A second chance? I'll tell you a little story about your sister. About your sister, so that you will understand when their mother was alive. They were living with their mother in Japan. Why you and your brother was serious over here, studying to make a good living? She and her younger sister that she spoils were busy in Germany breaking codes, hacking into people's accounts, stealing their hard-earned money. Both of them were deported back to this country. The second chance issue you mentioned just came up. I said, let me give them another chance. Let me give them a second chance. I took them to Canada. Separated them 
in two different cities. This one was in Toronto, the other was in Quebec. Hoping they would learn from their past experience. That was the worst mistake of my life. Why you and your brother were bringing trophies to this house? Sports excellence, academic excellence. What did I get from them? Shame. They brought in shame to this family. Cyber criminality, drug, all kinds of embarrassment. So the ideology of second chance doesn't work with your sisters. Hmm. This is... Um... <sighs> Look, Father, I... I just want to live in peace with my brother and sisters. That's all. That's a huge one. That might be a goal that you might never achieve. Do you know why? Their mother. Their mother never lived in peace with your mother for once. She planted a seed of discord in them that will never allow them to see anything good in you or be your brother. So, are you, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Father, I do. But, there's only one thing that gladdens my heart. When I look at you, I see the wisdom in you. I see the determination to lead this family. And I know that when I'm gone, you'll be able to handle this family. <clears throat> um, I called for this meeting because I feel it's imperative to have um, family peace. Our parents were at loggerheads when they were alive. Our mothers, I know, they didn't have um, a good relationship. And that is because your wretched retarded mother forced herself on my father and said this in to get her pregnant. Oh well, our father loved my mom very much. And he got her pregnant intentionally because, I mean, he didn't want to leave his well for reckless whores like you. And your mother's womb was too dry and not fertile to produce male children. How dare you? No, how dare you? Oh, we are stuck on nonsense. I mean, you sat here and watched her call her mother wretched and retarded. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I see that this old charade was staged just to annoy me and take me back into a terrible past, right? But let me quickly warn you. The next time you want to pull a stone like this, think twice. Because if you mess with me, I will kill you. If you want to talk about any rubbish peace talk, that should be between the both of you. Keep my sister and I out of your mouth. Oh, please go to hell! Everything. I've learned nothing. I mean, she was insulting our mother. Our mother, Stephen. But we agreed, Zubiora. We agreed that you pay no defiance to whatever she gets to say out of her mouth. Well, I could not sit down and watch her speak of her mother in such a derogatory manner. This is her mother we're talking about here. Oh, man, you're in this 
she often is he have done me well. Come on, young missing, hallelujah. She often is he have done me well. Hey, 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 hey. One more. Bia, don't touch that gate next time, bro. Is it your duty to open the gate? I'm not allowed to spoil my mood because Yehofa and Ephraim is watching me. But wait, oh. wait till come they make you come happy like this. I'm not happy. Tell me how I know not happy. God will wait for Ephraim to know they sleep. Even if he say one soak, your sleep. When you want to see here, an album, an album, you can just wake up. Why you not go wake up? Only your shout, only your talk, only your jumping up and down like a whale. If you made the man wake up. Yes, now. Yeah? Why you not go wake up? And they ask you, what is the meaning of this your singing and dancing this afternoon? Waiting, they make you happy. I agree, so. No, tell me. Tell me. Why I no go happy? Sebi, I think na me we person kid my he carry soup where I suffer, I suffer, I suffer, I suffer. I cook that food. I say karabake lo I be I cook that food to my taste to anybody taste. Even even um, Donald Trump, I cook him. He carry and pour me for my face. Now why they day so they don't send him down to kiri kiri. Tell me. My cord! Now that kind cord where they sleep. Hey! Why are you happy? So, this is your stupid happiness, Nana, because say they call arrest that Obre Madam. Even though none of so. Eh? Let me get happy like this. Make I tell you, point of correction. Ha! You understand me? It's not stupid happiness. Don't put it that way. We cannot matter for you. I come is on the table. When I'm explaining some things to you, you have to understand me. You understand? Uh -uh. Why are you happy? I know why you support them. Uh, because they are your town's person. I know you support them. Me in a karabake. Anything we call they like, right? They do for me. The only thing why they hear for all the things where the town sees now, now that support. In mm -hmm. So for your village now, if bad thing happen, you go celebrate. Why you not come to celebrate Christmas? You not for just leave, leave everything. When person die or when they come clear your whole village, entire village now una go una go celebrate because say person something happen to somebody bad thing. Now you they celebrate like this, they jolly jolly they jump up and. Same 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 back women so who could feel. Ah no 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 this is where you are belonging. Kid man. Kid man. You are a kid man. Come on. Open the kid for a queen. Because who could don't bless now? Because I say queen, I go go tell them. Go tell them. No, no, tell them. Just open the kid. Wait a minute. Come on, you are missing. Hallelujah. I'm not telling you. You know, the only reason why I just the toilet all this nonsense way they do for this house. This one. This one. If not this one, what age game? I don't know. 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 I don't Did you see you got my message? Yeah, I did. 
and you read the part I said my brother has changed all security to the account to a more complex and unbreakable password. I get all that. Do you have the old password? Of what use is that, Mark? That idiot has altered everything. Kim, please give me the old password. Okay? You don't have time. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, um, the new password he has created has to be functional with at least two digits from the old password. So if we are able to suggest it right, it could give us access to the new password. Then we can change it to whatever we want. Then we can break into the account. All this has to be done within 60 seconds. If you fail, it will give a security alert to him. And that will give him an insight that someone is trying to break into the account. And I believe that will spell doom. Because he's going to change the password to another thing again. That will be the end of all this hustle. So, like I said, we have 60 seconds. Should we proceed? What are you waiting for? Come on. What is going on? We have less than 30 seconds to do this. You ask him. Don't tell me to relax. You've been saying that for the past 30 seconds. Because this is what you want to be doing. You're disturbing my train of thought. Mark, listen, I'm only being conscious of time. You're the one who said you have just 60 seconds to get this done. Are you really sure this will work? Are you asking me Do you still remember anything? I break codes. There's nothing in this part where I can handle. Calm down. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Mark. If my brother gets to rid of this, things will go really ugly. Awesome. We need to be super fast. <clears throat> Mark. Relax. The process is at uh, 95%. Come on. What do you mean you don't know what what's going on here? Who ordered this transaction? But sir, the transaction was made through your own personal account. What do you mean it was made through my personal account? I never ordered any transaction. But it's shown there that is you made the transaction. Check for yourself. What is, what is going on here? Call, call my brother for me. Call Bureau. Okay, sir. What is, what is this? Did you, use, did you use my password to make any transaction? Your password? Oh, come on, man. You know I wouldn't do that without telling you. Are you suspecting anything fishy? Yes! Someone just moved over 50 million naira from the company's account. 50 million naira? Yes! The only person that could do this is Tracy. But I mean, how could she do it from the police cell? Look, at this point, everything is possible. I seem not to understand what's going on here.
Did you ask them to release her? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? I mean, those two had something to do with that money. What does the money have to do with releasing Tracy from the police station? I mean, they, they used the money to bribe their way out of the cell. Officer John doesn't call it bribe. Father said so. Well, Father thought so. I am very certain that Officer John takes bribe. Yes. Are you serious? I mean, you don't even know that guy. You don't know him. He's very cunning. Tracy go back to the house yesterday. Yes, I'm aware. My boss ordered for her to be released. I thought you said you were going to get back to me. Yes, I did. It's the same thing. Whether I go back to you or not, she would have been released. So what's the big deal? Did your boss release her on a bill or is there something fishy going on here that I don't know? Mr. Steve, I have nothing to hide from you. I thought so too. Look. If you have something to say to me, why don't you come clean and say it? I won't. I have other things to do. Well, now you know. Thank you. Have a nice day, Mr. Steve. You too, Mr. John. Officer John, I have told you, I never mentioned anything to him. Look, that guy has a machinery that tells him everything. <sighs> Trust me, I have no idea how he knew about it. But why are you even bothered about him anyways? Oh, calm down, officer. Hmm? Anything the matter? Did you go open your mouth so Stephen how you got out of the police station? Come on, how would I do such stupid thing? Who were you on the phone with? That was Officer John. He claimed Stephen was told he took money from us for your release. <laughs> so, how is that any qualms? Are you mad? Have you lost it? Was well, Stephen supposed to know about it? Okay, if he asked you where you got 50 million to bribe yourself out of jail, what would you tell him? But we have our own money. Is this his business? In bank accounts that were frozen three months ago. If you like, don't have sense. <sighs> well, I didn't tell anyone anything, no. That's your problem. You never said the truth. 
And that's your problem too. You never believe what I have to say. How can I believe you when the only opium that intoxicates you is a glass of blood and lies? <laughs> okay. Everything I know and do, I learned from you, my dear sister. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> out of my room. Just in... uh, Okay, okay, fine. I'm out. Rubbish. Yeah, I got a lot of memory key earlier today. Were you surprised? I never said I was. <laughs> I mean, how come? Where did you get the money from? Well, our Oga at the top decided to freeze some of the accounts. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure Kim fought for it. No, I don't think so. But she told me that um, he tried to make peace when I was at the police station. Peace, as usual. But I can bet you, Kim fought for that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Steven is actually a good guy. He's actually cool. Not like that cocky, pompous Obura. <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. Why are you two at? Why are you two always at loggerhead? What do you What do you expect? Wait, you expect my sister and I, who are the older ones, to bow down to small boys, whose mother wasn't even the first wife? I mean, Kimberly and I are so angry with my father for willing everything to him before he died. Don't you think your father must have his reasons? Reasons? What reasons? Huh? Because African men would never see their daughters as the head of their empires and conglomerates, right? The typical African man would never want their daughter to head their business empire. Never! And, it, and it's so disgusting. It's nonsense. Come on. <sighs> Learn to respect your father's decision. You know, my mother used to tell me that it's an honor to respect the wishes and the decisions of the dead. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we should do better next time. <laughs> Not to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. How did you do it? It was that simple. You just had to break it to the company's account. Really? What? The password? How the hell did you get the password? Because I noticed that the password was changed. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, please, remind me, that was my nickname again. Cyberlord. Uh, please say it again. <laughs> Cyberlord. <laughs> now you know how it is. <laughs> Come on. You are such a genius. <laughs> now you have to prepare one of them. Are you just going to sit there and do nothing about what I told you? Obira, calm down. Stop telling me to calm down! You need to stop Mark from coming to this house. Does stopping Mark and any of our sister's friends bring peace or anything? That guy stole our money! To get our sister out of jail! What are you even saying? What I'm trying to say is that you should calm down! Well, the last time you told me to calm down, the next thing you unfroze the account. What are you going to do this time? Obira, calm down. You do this all the time! money from the company's account, spend it on drugs and alcohol and this doll that you call a boyfriend and still end up in the police cell. Hey, 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 Niggy. Kifu, shut up. Oh, man, how you speak to my woman? Are you mad? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> and who the hell are you to dictate how I speak to this cheap whore? Wait, hey, you! Oh, what? Are you mad? No, 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 no
no, 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 no. Don't kill him! Please, no. Please, please. Just let, just let, just let. Just let. Try this next time and I'll kill you in this house. You hate me! What's this? What's with the bruises? What happened? It's nothing. What do you mean by it's nothing? Eh? Wait, did you get into a fight? Because last I checked before going to bed, you were not. You had no bruises on your face. So what happened? Speak, young man. What happened? I mean, Talk. why are you yelling? I said it's nothing. It's nothing. Do I look blind to you? I can see clearly. But what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Say what happened? What did you get into a fight with? With him. No, I wouldn't let you have a conversation with my man. Tracy, step aside and don't make a fuse out of this. And I said no. Come on, babe. I got it. No. Stay, man. No, no, I wouldn't let that. We have to go now. He has Tracy, nothing. you brought your boyfriend into my house to have a fight with my brother. And you're still trying to barricade a same conversation I want to have with him. You know what? Henceforth, you'd entertain your boyfriend and your guests outside the confines of my premises. And secondly, I'll have to take this because you're not using any of my cars in this compound. Are you not just... You're not doing anything. Are you just standing here? What do you want me to do? Fight him! Do something! Go get Tracy! him! Tracy! You know what? Never mind. I'll go get Kimberly's key. Uh -huh. Be fast with it, please. Eh no bon, eh no eh no, the finest calabar girl, the only light in my darkness. He come now. You should now. get her a date with us. Come and make her pay you. Come to see, madam. You say uh, the only light in which darkness. Look at me. Waiting darkness, the finest side right. If you see right and darkness, you know coffee is different, Satan. Eh? What in concern right with dark, uh, right with darkness? Where you could come look me, where I be right, come be put inside your darkness. If you like, call him rice. You know concern me. But what in the best me now? Be say every time when I want to talk to you, now so you go use that your stupid, uh, it be language. You can't insult me. So now so you won't go abuse me if I carry you go see my man. Mm. Eh? Come is on the boat. I'll be never even oh, use my language. They insult you. You don't they talk and put. Yes, because I come is on to for for boat. Oh, and I will continue to insult you with that my language. Where you don't understand. Make it pain you. You say with mama. Come on. Now that mama where wrong die. You won't go resurrect them from grave. Carry me go so. Oh, now which one? The one where they arrive for and if I know. Eh? Eh, you know, but don't do. Don't do. But because eh, I won't just give you one small gist now. Nah. Yeah. You know, if you see what happened for this house this morning, you go, you go, you go laugh tire. Mbakwe. Eh? Mbakwe. Eh, no be Mbakwe. Mbakwe. Whatever. Mbakwe. 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 Or not the same thing. I know they are wrong for this, your cousin. Don't come carry me put for wire I can. 
Gossip, 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 you gossip right, woman. Nami, you look me finish, a woman, gentleman, Mbakwe. Eh? Nami, you de give all this insult because say, I want just you. Eh? Come, 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 Mbakwe. Make you know they say because they carry a brown shade. So put them black, put them cotton black. Yeah. Put that make cotton. me a retired officer. Officer for know me. how to talk. If to your type of person is see is see thief for inside and eh, for front of that kid, you could feel strap him. Talk more of the car he get con. Gentleman, gentleman. Come. He's on the table. Gentleman. Oh, this is odd now because he I won't just you. I don't want this sort of. I want to come back. I want to come back in case you go. You know me, I know right, Kwara. Make you know, we say you come to use me, tell me something where really it happen for the area. I don't want to understand with you. Eh? Now, what thing happen? Tell me, I could use your year, and I say I want your year. <laughs> No, when you they rough like you rough with your sweat for body, you know they carry and toss see. me. No, they toss me. When they toss me, they sweat. It's okay they sweat, now. They sweat, they sweat, they sweat. Yeah, you're supposed to be like bread and butter. You see, you know, but I no say you. You know they ever use ear, ear gist. I don't say you must fall for this gist. Yeah, tell me. See, I'm, and they, you know, they don't like say, I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want you. But you like to hear. Yeah, you're stuck. I will just tell you because you're my baby. Who you toss me now? I'm not vicious. Wait now, no be small thing. See, I go come out this sleep. I go wipe them for your face. No, they toss me. Two days wait. I know they like who they sweat. Okay, make I tell you. You know what happened today? You know, but if you see what happened for this house today, you know uh, that Madam Tracy, you know that uh, that in boyfriend. In which one? boyfriend, and one we carry, we go, what did they carry paint? The painting. Okay, where you put color in for your head? Bam! Hi! I know. This morning, mm. Madam Tracy, go carry Augustine Vaux key. As they come out, they won't come out. Now Augustine Vaux verse! Come out from inside. Come collect the key from Madam Tracy. If you see Madam Tracy, they begin to do that thing. Don't they do like a cartoon network? And they do it, wait, 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 hey! If they tell him boyfriend, may go collect the kids. Hey, honey, why are you standing there? Are you looking at him? Are you watching him? Hey, honey, go and collect the kids from him. He, he even beat him up. If they tell the guy, may go beat him. The guy, <laughs> fear no reach him to go beat him. You know, see, you know, see, sometimes I, I just really admire that until. Because sometimes I could just feel like, say, in my next life, I feel just they do like in, in the way they do in cartoon something. Because I write, come just say, na something or um, condition just make crevices bend. I say, make I come just there. But my next life, I could just they like a butter like that. With this accent? I could go to school, Oxford, Oxford University. Ah, the answer. Oxford, boy, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, eh, if I tell you the truth, eh. The truth be say, if no be say, hmm. or cast the view, they control himself. Hmm. Eh? For the kind verse where they in face this morning, hmm. even eh, the way we in face be, come be like when lion, you know when lion don't verse. Oh. He, he if you say the guy in Aram, you go, he only the, the bear bear, you know, say that he bear bear, he go be like pin. Go, you just use and brush the guy. <laughs> You see this house. I like it. You see this compound. Yeah. Since we be cocker die. Mm. Every time na fight, 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 fight. Problem after one another and problem and the problem. Uh, me I don't tire for this house. So you don't need to tire. Me I am mean, I'm, I'm used to it now. Wait, wait, wait. The way we talk, we be like say, me nobody here. I know one problem. I like this my work. Now my next life, why I say when I come, I call you. They do like I give up. Maybe mm. this one. Make I manage this one while I come. So, mm. I've been there very, very busy. You. Eh? I don't say make I come sick in Paru when I come see you standing here like ghost. It's on the table. Because they rob me, uh, make I go back. No problem. See, eh? see. Eh? No, I don't say me. you they busy. I don't say you they busy. Mm. Eh? When you they won't bring nice food for me. Eh? Mm. You know, as you could take a range and but beg. If you they come. No, we are no, we are pants. Pants! Be like, say, on the crib. Hey! Hey, but. Hey! Come on, kid, you too. I shout to pants. I shout to get the pants in that. I don't need no pants. 
You were missed at the funeral. Mm, I know. I'm so sorry about that. I explained to your brother why it was impossible for me to be in Nigeria at that point in time. Yes, you did. Well, we really hope to see you there, but nonetheless, um, it's okay. It's good to have you back. Yeah. You're looking beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Um, sweet home. That's so like, everything is so beautiful, baby. <laughs> why? I'm so happy to be home, like, honestly. Which one? Oh my god, look at Kimberly! <laughs> you are looking glamorous! Go. I ask you, which one are you talking about? Hey, look around. Does this place look like a house? Hey. Kimberly. Babe, what is going what on? What did you do that for? Well, the cat has been out from the bag. What's the meaning of that? Should she, she, she be dragged into our family misunderstanding? Wait a minute, please. What misunderstanding were you talking about? What's going on? Can someone please explain to me? What's going on? What did I miss? You missed everything. And you missed something very important. We no longer entertain our friends nor visitors in this house anymore. That's the new rule. Tracy, is something wrong with you? What's the meaning of that? Don't you know Edna? Didn't you know Mark when you asked him to stop coming here? Or do I need to refresh your stale memory on what you said? Um, Kimberly. I mean, we all know that she's an exception. Because he's going to marry her, and you know that. Oh, wait. Okay, so... Mark isn't the man I want to get married to. <laughs> you both are jokers. <laughs> now, listen up. The new rule is we no longer invite or entertain our visitors nor friends in this house anymore. So you shouldn't be coming here because the next time you do, we won't be lenient with you. Copy that. Hmm? Well, at least she didn't take my drink. Babe, please. Okay. <laughs> sticks. I need to take your own Oh, just let him go. Vera, yeah, please. You need to go there. He's gonna do something silly. Oh, you won't like it. I want him to do something silly. I've been longing for this. Oh, Vera. You better follow me now. Like, I'm not ready. Oh, Vera, please stand up. Come, let's go. Oh, Baby. Right. Baby! I have to eat. Torn in the flesh, those two have been to us, but to everybody. You will not be here soliciting for them. But I told her already. I mean, those sick horse do not deserve any mercy. Wait. When did you people start for all this? Because the last time I checked, you always call with each other. Mm -hmm. When last did you check? It's been three years. What really triggered this cataclysm? Obviously, jealousy. What else? Jealousy? Over yes. what? Over everything. I mean, everything that father willed to Stephen. So, this is like a, a will battle? <laughs> well, I'll call it a will war. What? Yes. So, babe, <clears throat> how do you hope to end this? Look, I'm tired. I'm just going to send them back in, out of this house. No. Simple! That's the right thing to do. No, we won't do that. There are so many ways to handle issues. Not sending... Nobody's going anywhere. Well, at this point in time, this is the right thing to do. I mean, it's visible to the blind and audible to the deaf. Oh, there are nice, please. Well, all this while, I have been trying to pressure him to throw this horse out of this house. But at this point in time, I am in support wholeheartedly. Okay. What about the family lawyer? Varys Atomi, what is he doing about this whole thing? Well, he's been saying a lot, but he's done nothing. Absolutely nothing. He's up to do something. I mean, he's supposed to do something. Well, you don't have to blame the barrister. Blame your Messiah man here who's been stopping the hands of the law from taking its place. 
I mean, those charlatans deserve to be dealt with. Babe, we have to talk about this. I mean, serious conversation. Edna, I mean, what else is there to talk about? Just let it go. Please. Obira, okay, you are not being nice. Honestly, you're not. Well, I'm off. Sorry, you're going through all this, but what are you lying? I mean, what's in this mind of yours? What are you thinking about? The last time my brother said to me, I'm Stephen, uh, father, uh. Easy, easy, what is it? Um, the number just called that father had another heart attack. What? Yes. Heart attack? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Doctor, how is he? The father is fine for now. It's good a thing that you are here now. Um, by the way, where are your sisters? Uh, um, we left them for the office this morning. I don't know why they are not at home. I mean, those idiots will never sit at a place. Your father will need someone to stick around with him. Thank God a Norbong noticed and called on time. No, no problem. Um, Obiara will stick around for a while. Yeah. Um, it's alright. Um, I will be on my way now, but if anything comes up, feel free to call me immediately. No problem, no problem. Um, doctor, can we see him now? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Father, please. Don't talk about death. Please. We must all talk about that. But that is a meal that we all must partake of. Father, um, Father, I think you should stop talking about death because the truth is you have many more years to live for us. Yes. I know, I know. You see, that's a wise saying. See, in the midst of life, we are in death. That death is not the end of life, but the transition from one life to another. Father, look. I'm sure you're going to be okay. And everything's going to be fine. Yes. Thank you, my son. Thank you. Um, Stephen, please, can I see you? Okay. Excuse me, Doctor. Is it about my father's health? Yes, of course. Then you should speak to me. Um, no, it's, it's not a big deal, okay? It's nothing to worry about. It's not a big deal? <laughs> no, I think it's a big deal because you are already making it a big deal. Listen, doctor, if you want to talk to anybody about my father's health, it should be me, not him. I mean, I am the first child of this family. Absolutely. So go on. Kim Daniel, please. Don't start on the way. You have never acted in this family as a first child. You only do that in your nightclub. Please don't stand on the way, Kimberly. Father, really? But you want to neglect me now also? Kimberly. Why are you stressing, Father? Can't you see he's sick? You keep quiet. Don't talk to our elder sister like that. Are you crazy? If you, if you dare talk to me again, I'll slap you. You slap who? Yes. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is the worst energy your father needs right now. Okay? This is not good for him at all. Um, and Stephen, let me see you. Okay, go ahead. Why are you going out there to see? Don't, don't talk to me. Father is sick. I don't want to go crazy on you now. 
Are you mad? He, he, Obviously, he's mad. He mad. He's crazy. My children. As I live the last days of my life with all of you, I can't think of anything better to tell you. But I want you all to live in peace. That's the only thing that comes to my mind. Whatever misunderstanding that will arise among all of you, look for a makeable way to resolve it. Don't let it destroy the love of one family. Let the love grow in your hearts. Kimberly, you are my first daughter. Even though you have not made me proud, I still believe you can lead. That you can be the mother that everybody will look upon in this family. Always be fair in giving judgment in every issue. Don't take side. Tracy, I believe in you too. I know you can do better. Stephen, my first son, the child of my pride, I want you to always hold this family together. No matter what happens, do whatever you can to see that this family remains one. You may live apart. You may live in any part of the world. But wherever you go, try to uphold the good name of this family. Be an example. Don't allow any external person or anything to cause. You know, um, he charged us to always stay together. And that's one responsibility I'm willing to keep so sacred. Well, baby, I, I respect that wish too. But you see, baby, I think if your father was to be here, trust me, he would have had a change of heart by now. Hmm. You know, I asked him one day, and he said, living in peace with my sisters is one goal I would never be able to attempt. Did he say that? Yeah, he did. He said so. Well, that was a long time ago before he took you. Baby, your father wasn't in doubt of the moment. I believe if your father was to be here, like right now, to see things for himself, I mean, he would have thought differently. Hello, Kimberly. Good morning. Um, may I sit down? Oh, don't worry, right now I'll stand. Um, Kimberly, I have been held on scarred hair since the very moment I arrived here. And your stupid instinct told you that I spoiled the hair, right? That's not the point. Why are you here? Now listen, if Steven puts you up to this, I won't spare a second to throw you out of my room. Kimberly, you want to throw me out of your room because you and your brother are having difficulties over will. Honestly, would you throw me out of your room? This disarray, I mean, the energy, everything. What for exactly? If you're here to preach any peace nonsense, I need you to take yourself out of my room now. Kimberly, the very first time you came to Germany, you didn't have anywhere to go. I was there for you. I took you in. 
I was a good friend to you. Even when me and my parents were having misunderstanding, I never let whatever was our differences to affect you or your comfort of staying in my place. I was good to you, Kimberly. <laughs> wow. No, so you walked into my room to take me down memory lane of the stupid things you did for me, right? No. That's not it, no. Far away from it. I walked in here to tell you that you have been unnecessarily stupid, my darling. Yeah. Kimberly, this is not you. This is not the Kimberly I used to know. You used to be one of the nicest person I knew. What has gotten over you, Kimberly? You made me fall in love with your brother, Stephen. I mean, all those things you people are fighting for, are battling for, it will survive a century. But you see, true love, family, that bounds together, that survive eternity. <laughs> you know what? Go tell that to that dumb skull of your husband. He's the one who wants to hear this. Now get out. I better leave my room. Here. You're supposed to knock before coming in. Get out! I'm not going anywhere. I just wish we could talk. There's nothing to talk to you about. Get out! So, it is true. What's true? That you are dying in cocaine every time, every night. It's true, right? I give no hoots about whatsoever you think about me. Scram! Trish, you seem to forget so soon that I bailed you out. Huh? Every single time that your cocaine hated dumb, skull, German boyfriend of yours lured you into police needs. You forget so soon, darling. We know why you're here. Tell me about it. I understand your mission here. Okay. Where have you been all this time? You abandoned my brother and as soon as you had us in charge of everything my father left before he died, you flew back. And just like a dog, you want to take whatever you can and go back to wherever the hell you came from, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where have you been all these three years, Edna? Trish, your brother knew about my incapacitations and you will not hold that against me. <laughs> and I am very well aware that you got out of your so-called incapacitation so you could steal, you could grab whatever you can and when you're done, you get back, right? But I, Tracy, would never let that happen. What shall I do for you? Clap for you. <laughs> well spoken, my darling. But you know what, Trish? Before all this display of madness, I always known that you are one crazy, greedy, selfish bitch. And let me tell you something. You had tempted to frame him back in Germany because he almost exposed your drug dealing, right? I know about that. Calm down, calm down, I'm coming. And let me tell you something, Trish. I am back. Egner is back and I am back for good. So you, no came, should content with that. And let me warn you for the very last time, darling. If you, or came, try to assault my mind again, I mean one more time. I swear to God, I am going to put your houses in the bar. Seriously, I'm going to put your houses behind the bar. And tell that your cyber criminal boyfriend of yours that 
I will put his hands behind the bars. Do you understand that? Since all of us want to be mad in this country, okay, come on, you're welcome to the table. Let all of us be mad. Oh my God, I am so scared. I am so scared. God, I need help. Get out. Scram. Try it one more time. Bitch. Get out. Scram, you ram. Fuck you, bitch. Scram already. That's what she said. <laughs> Edna has the guts to come into this house to alter nonsense. Where's Timmy? I think he's gone to the office. Why? That idiot is leaving this house this minute. That will mean war when Stephen gets back. What you said? Uh -huh. Have we been living in peace here? Has there ever been a moment of peace in this house? It is either we are preparing for war, at war, or recovering from war. It's been nothing but war from the get-go. Okay, even if you want her out, it shouldn't be when Obiara is here. Oh, that idiot will not dare stand in my way. What is it? Madam, we need you out of this house this minute. But now after the encounter we get with the lion, we go no way then a lion has been a dog again. Come, Papa, open that gate. Okay. Move it. Papa, move. Hey! I'm back with you, Shele Mania. Every day, fight. Every day, arrest. If the problem do be say, maybe they stick Coco stay there, maybe they know they come back this house. Like a womb ball, or go, 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 If you ask me, Stephen, it is not wise bringing them out when you have not decided on how to permanently end the congenital strife. Barista, they are my sisters. I can't possibly throw them off the streets. Do they have the same mindset? Before my father died, he told me something. He said that I should make sure that we stick together as a family. I know all that. But you need to understand something, that when there is a problem, the people who are around that problem most, they must go out of their way to seek for permanent solution to the problem. If you fail to seek for permanent solution to a problem, no matter how you gloss around it, that problem must always come back. And I feel the best way to solve this particular problem is you moving out of this place and allow them to live here alone. Well, that is exactly the same thing Edna and I told him, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, barrister. I think you should give him some time to think about this whole stuff. I mean, it's happening so quick. What I think of that barista? Um, I think we should release them. I don't, I'm not comfortable with them at the police station. Babe. It's okay. 
Let him have his way. If that is what you feel, you go ahead. Like seriously, oh, uh, Dell. <laughs> it's okay. Uh. Don't you ever think that this is the end? I am back, and I am back for you, you, and you. I am back for you, idiots. Say it! Man, look at that idiot! Hey, you were. Well, I didn't say anything. Mark, please don't try to be sentimental now. I need you. Please. Please, even if you don't respect me, please respect my sister because she asked me to call you. Uh huh. Well, she is the older one. <laughs> what do you expect? Come on, can, can you just please stop, please? I've apologized, please. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, um, he said I should send him the passwords. So what are you waiting for? Go on with it. I was about to do that when do you... Do that fast. Fine, boss lady. Mm. I mean, this is the most confusing thing I've heard all my life. You mean they took him with them? Yes, Barissa, they did. And you know, this is usually the end. I mean... There must be something you can no, do. No, it's not possible. This cannot be the end. I know Stephen. He's not the kind of person that will get himself involved in any shady deal. Yes, I agree. I agree. You know what? I have to speak with them right now. Can you just come with me? Your brother is in the EFCC custody. Exactly where thieves like him belong. Would you shut up? That's a very silly thing to say. <laughs> Still from the government is boss. Show some respect, all of you. What is going on? I can bet you that Stephen, your brother, is suffering on the account of something he knows absolutely nothing about. Barrister, what you saying is not anymore. If he is innocent, how then was the money traced to his account? I wonder. I need somebody here to tell me the truth because I don't understand what is going on. Does any of you have a hand in what is happening? What? Or what? What are you even trying to say? Can you imagine this charge and bell man? I beg your pardon, Timber. Don't beg any pardon here. What were you expecting when you were spewing rubbish off your mouth? Huh? Are you even saying that we transferred the money or what? Wait, what are we not saying? Do we even have such amounts of money in the first place? I need to understand something. Because it is actually becoming very clear to me that there is something going on. But I, let me just say this. If it is finally established that any of you is connected to this, I bet you, that person is going to spend a very long time in prison. Do you know what, Barrister? We've had enough of your rubbish. Now get out. Would you shut up? What's wrong with you, Ken? What has come over you, Ken? What is wrong with you? Huh? Would you 
shut the F up. You mad? Kimberly, you will stop this nonsense at once. What is wrong with you? Kidding. Shh. Get out. No, you wouldn't dare do that. Are you sick or something? You wouldn't do that. Watch me. Out. The Viva's fine and being caught. I am in charge here. Hmm? Leave! So black and white like this. You're not in charge. You do this all the time. You dare not speak to her that way. You will shut up your mouth. You will shut you it. Shut up! What is wrong with you? Caught. You has been caught. You talk to Get out! Are you mad? Are you talking to Please, get the fuck out of the side. Lay she one finger. What the fuck? You're not going to touch her. 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 She is in charge now. Do your worst. I'm embarrassed her. Please, I am very sorry for Kim's unruly behavior yesterday. Yes. I mean, I don't know why she's so keen on destroying the name of this family. I mean, it, it's so painful. I'm sorry. Um, how did it go with the EFCC yesterday? Not so good. Where is there? Is Steven gonna be jailed for life? Is he? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Worse than that. From what we know, the government most likely will be confiscating everything in Stephen's name. Oh my gosh. What? They can't do that. Where do they want everyone to go? <laughs> Excuse me. Everyone. <laughs> Wait. So you now understand what it means for everyone to live in peace and love, right? Tell me about it. This is family business, so you stay out of it, okay? Can everyone just relax? Obira, what do we do now? <laughs> well, I was only lenient to tell you this. <clears throat> Whatever happens to you afterwards is none of my business. Do you understand that? Excuse me. You better start scheming another mischief, bitch. Let me tell you something. Everything will be taken away from you. Yeah, remember what I told you the other night. All this will be taken away from you and you will be left with nothing, bitch. But you see, family, love, that stays for eternity. Get that into your fucking head. Edna! What do we do? This is not possible. This is not happening. Oh my god. I am confused right now. No, sis. This is not the time to be confused. You need to think about something. I don't even know what to think of. Tracy, I am blank. <sighs> Maybe I should speak with my Mr. Tommy. Mm -mm. That's a bad idea. Not after what you did to him the other day. No. Oh, okay, I, I, I will apologize and make him an offer you cannot reject. Like what? Tracy, I don't know anything. <laughs> Maybe sex. Sex. <laughs> that will definitely flop. We need to think of something good before we call him because we cannot just waste the opportunity. Ah, I see. Did you don't understand? <sighs> okay, okay. What do you, what? I think, I think, I think I have an idea. What is it? Let's discuss with um, Mark. Oh, please. No, you're a retarded cyber criminal marijuana addict. Come on. No, stop. Don't call my boyfriend, Mark. Please. He has been of immense help, remember? Whatever, you can call him. As if he has anything to offer. Don't be an ingrate. This is the craziest thing I have ever heard since the days of Cleopatra. But come to think of it, it's making a whole lot of sense now. So you need to talk to the barrister right away? Mm -mm. We need to talk to the barrister right away. We? Like, both of us? Yes, baby. No! Come on, baby. I think she's right. 
You have to go with her. Uh uh, no way, I can't go. Everyone knows the barrister hates me. I mean, he thinks I'm saucy. <laughs> but where is the lie? Excuse you. I'm sorry. Whatever, you need to go with her. Come on. Just let me be. Hey, can't you let me it. be. In as much as I'm already feeling stupid for not asking my security personnel to throw you out, for arranging the irate youth against me in your place the other day, I, I feel so bad now because I am supposed to be showing you the door. For thinking that I am going to do anything with you. What, I, what exactly do you take me for? A, a, a kind of robot or what? Barista, you need to take our side. This is the best solution ever. If we don't do this, we will lose everything. Barista, please. I don't want to hear your voice. See? I told you he hates me. Okay. You will just leave. I will think about it. If you ask me, sir. Barrister, please. There's nothing to think about. You said the court has ordered the government to confiscate everything. Please. I will give you feedback in good time. But I'm not promising anything. Your brother says over his dead body will he allow this to happen. He says that the only way a transfer of the word could have happened is if his account is not linked to that of his brother, Obiora. But Barrister, you only said you were going to think about it. We never agreed that Stephen was going to be brought into the plan. And you were actually thinking that this would have happened without involving the person who is the owner of the property in question? You should have known better before bringing Stephen into this plan that nothing in this world will ever make him bequeath his wealth to my sister and I. So if you were to be in his shoes, you wouldn't do it? You know, you wouldn't do the same too? Listen, Barrister. By changing the will to me as a sole beneficiary of everything that left behind simply means that Stephen never had anything. We could tell them that Dad just wanted Stephen to be a figure. Mining the aim of affairs of the company while I am in charge on the sideline. Well, I understand the implications of everything. I understand what you are saying, but your brother says no. To hell with Stephen. I mean, how can he be so greedy? Stephen knows that the government are about to take everything and yet he wants that to happen just so that me and my sister will not have anything. Kimberly, you are shouting. And I, let me even ask you, why is this particularly about you and your sister? Why? No, sir, that's not the point. Come on, but that is the point. No, 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 that is exactly the point. It is not the point. Okay, if you say that is not the point, can you tell me what the point is? Barista, all I am doing is to secure the family heritage. For crying out loud. Okay, let me ask you, where is your brother's faith in the whole of this spectrum of tapestry? Where is your brother's faith? Barista, we are about to lose everything to the government. If we are going to lose Stephen because of his greed to jail, we should not lose everything my dad works for. But... He didn't do it. <laughs> that is not what is read on the news. I don't understand. Is this already in the news? What? <sighs> that guy is a joke. It's a two joke. God, he must be out of his damned mind. I mean, how did he even find out? Who else? That stupid charge and bell with his running mouth told him. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. So what do we do now? I mean, he was our last option. Ah, Mark. Have you thought about something yet? That's what? The brain box of the family or what? Mark, we need to do this. Our backs are virtually against the wall. You guys have to get your backs off the wall, please. Leave me out of this. Oh my god, I for one never saw this coming. Sweetie. Please, 
please, just help us, okay? We need to do something, please, my darling. I mean, you won't believe what the barrister told me to. What did he say? Kim and Tracy conspired with Mark to have the barrister change the will in their favor. So they make Stephen look like a figurehead in the family. Can you, can you imagine that? Damn it. What? Oh, no, 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 no. This is not right. I mean, have you confronted them? You need to talk to your brother about this. Well, I wanted to, but the Varsa confided in me that he will find a way out of this. What's really going on? Like, I'm confused. What's really going on? Obi, are you sure we should keep trusting this barrister? Well, I'm, I'm not certain, but do you think he might try to be on your side or play games? I'm not saying anything, but what I would advise you is that you should keep your trust to yourself. I mean, at this point, you can't just trust anybody. Well, um, um, I'm skeptical, but I mean, if the barrister really wanted to, you know, do anything fishy, I mean, he would have concealed it from me, but he told me. Don't you think so? Well? Barrister, with profound respect to you, sir, it is exactly 10 days to the confiscation. The commission wishes to remind you of that. Well, officers, I am actually of the opinion that the commission should no longer be prying into anything concerning. I don't understand what you mean by that. You see, before Chief Williams died, there were a lot of uh, contentions, a lot of uh, altercations concerning his will. And uh, unfortunately, he was not able to call or put an end to it before he met his death. Well, Barrister, if you must know, I doubt my colleague and I follow. What you are trying to confiscate that is in Stephen's name is actually in the name of another person. Stephen is just a ceremonial head. And what do you mean by ceremonial head? You know, this information is just between Chief and I. Uh, but because you are officers of the law, I can actually, you know, allow you to have a peep into it. What I am saying in essence is that uh, Steve, Stephen was involved in a lot of unscrupulous dealings and Chief Williams was aware of all those and he cut, he cut him off from his business completely. I was going to read the original will of Chief Williams end of this year. Barrister, are you saying that Stephen wasn't the one his late father willed his wealth to? No, he wasn't. I have Chief's original will with his signature. I can show you. So what does this imply, Barrister? What it implies is that you cannot proceed with the confiscation because the property we are talking about is not something that belongs to Stephen. Chief Williams actually weighed his entire wealth to another of his children. Oh. Well, he refused to say. He said he would reveal the person and also declare the person in charge. I mean, why are we hearing about this for the first time in three years? He said your father instructed him to do so, and it is boldly written on the will. What? That's just preposterous. You have no say here. Oh, please, Tracy, stop it. Please. Of course she has no say here. But I mean, uh, why would father do that? 
Oh, I've always known that my lovely father will surprise me. You wish. <laughs> Sir, what do we do now? Well, as you all can see, we all have to wait. We have nine days left. God. <laughs> <laughs> a new barrister would not reject the offer. <laughs> but tell me something. Is there anything else you did to make him accept after we have already gone to his office? <laughs> do you really want to know? Please, I do. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> so... After I made him another offer in his favorite hotel room, he had no choice than to say yes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Sister, sister. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. A girl got to do what a girl got to do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they always believe you, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. But why couldn't you tell me your plans? And you made Mark and I think that we've already reached the end of the road. Well, let's just say I fooled both of you. That's not nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that was it, and he accepted. Excuse you. What do you mean by that was it? Do you know how much this body cost? Oh. I'm, I'm so sorry, Ma is a sleep of tongue. I'll let you sleep next time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, I also promised to give him 10 million naira. Okay. Now this is making a whole lot of sense. I mean, this is cool business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really nice. And we should celebrate, please. Do you have any white ladies left? Hello? Have you met me? <laughs> Go to baby girl. <laughs> I mean, give me one valid reason why father would do this to Stephen and I. One reason. I'm, I, I, I don't understand. Amira. Amira. Could you just calm down? Calm down, please. Look, let me tell you something. You can't just believe everything you hear. Hook, line, and sinker. I mean, what would you have me do when reality is staring me in the face? What reality are you talking about? Obira, what reality? Look, you don't have to conclude so soon. Your father that I know, Chief Williams, will never exclude you and your brother in his will. He will never do a thing like that. Excuse me. Who are you and what are you doing? Both of you are welcome to your house. What? Thank you, sir. House? What? What house? Well, if all of us can please calm down, we are going to get down to the business of the day. Please, you can sit down here. Sit down here. Uh, find, find yourself just special anywhere. Can I get down to the business? What's happening? God, I swear to God, Daddy was such a bastard. How could he? It was not enough for him that he had those two from another woman. He still had another son with a different woman and hid these people completely away from us. What kind of father would do such stupid thing? Can you forget about your dummy father for now? Let's talk solution. How do we fix this mess? 
to refix this mess because it's really messy. I don't even know what to think. I don't. I, I don't know. I'm. I, I'm shocked. Your father that I know will never do a thing like this. I mean, your father was bigger than all these things. I mean, did you not hear the barrister read the will? You saw father's signature on it. I mean, what other proof do you need? Your father will never do a thing like this. I keep saying this. He will never. I mean, what's all this? So, Fuck. what are you insinuating? I mean, what's your point? I mean, who wrote the will then? Okay, I think the truth will soon come out soon or later. I am sorry we will need uh, the next seven days to run the closer scrutiny on the world and ensure the total validity and the authenticity of same here. After which all accounts will be unfrozen and the will effected by the barrister in charge and in favor of uh, Mr. Patrick Williams, whose name is clearly stated here as the sole benefactor of uh, late Chief Williams businesses and companies. That will never happen. Over my dead body will I live and watch a total stranger come into my house and take what belongs to me. Never! Calm down. All the accounts will be unfrozen once the investigations are done. This is not right! Okay. I will not accept this! It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Patrick? Sir. Madam Alice? Sir. Make yourselves comfortable, okay? Thank you, Thank you sir. sir. Thank you, sir. You knew about this all these years and you did not tell me. Well, it was a... Um, has always been a kind of barrister-client relationship. And uh, you're not expecting me to betray that. But you should have told me something. I mean, how am I supposed to lose everything? What you have here is the decision made by your father. And uh, you have to trust that. It will never be well with him in that grave. No, trust him for what? For betraying all of us? <sighs> Barrister, if I find out anything fishy, about that thing you read yesterday. I will kill you. You came into my office to threaten me? How dare you? I'm afraid in the course of our investigations, we found nothing. Nothing illicit? Inherent about the will. Therefore, we will have to unfreeze the account. Uh, uh, so, sorry, sir. If I may, please. Proceed. Thank you. Um, who is Cyber Lord, please? Welcome. Okay, sir. Um, do you know about IDRF 1666-REV? I've not heard about that. I don't know what that is. Please enlighten me. Um, can someone help me out with their smartphones? Yeah, sure, one? sure. Yes, you can use mine. Okay. Um, we're, we're going to do something very simple. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to send you a link. All right. When you open the link, you're going to put your email. Just listen. Put your email. Then I'll send you a password. Okay. When you're done with the password, then you will tell everyone the face and the profile of whoever you're seeing. Okay. Is that right. easy? Right, yes. Okay, so Thank can I scan your phone, please? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, just hold on. Have you received the link? Yes, I Okay, am. please put your email address. Okay. Have you done that? Hold on, I'm almost done. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, now I'm going to send you a password now. Do you have it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, now please, can you tell us the profile of that person you're seeing? What? What? 
Jesus Christ. What? What the hell is going on here? Oh, just relax, man. We're about to find out the truth. Internet Please. wizard, cyber lord, internet breaker, and... Well, what, what is all this? This man right here is the hands behind all the illegal form transfer. Well, all he needs is um, an email address, a phone number, or an old password. And he'll be able to cause mayhem to any account, locally and uh, internationally. What? Wait. Are you saying that this guy is behind all this? The guess is as good as mine. Uh, but he wasn't alone. You see, he had the help of his girlfriend. Your kid sister. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, my work here is done. The so-called lawyer is not innocent as well. <laughs> what did he just say? You are not innocent. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't get. You're talking about our lawyer. Yes, of course. <laughs> Which one I would like to do so? Okay. Five years now. You left me and my son and traveled to America. How is our gas TV? Two of you done. <laughs> Mama um, Patrick, not yet, but very soon. Do you know that man? Who? Ogabarista. Yes, I know him. He's my husband's elder brother. That one. He's very stingy. Very, very stingy. You know they give person shish even if it's ten naira. Even if you want to die and this his ten naira that will save your life, it's better you die. But Barrister Tommy is a very nice man. Nice man, what? He's not a nice man, oh. No. Not at all. That one, he's very stingy, more than Raven. Very, very stingy man. Wait, oh. Do you know him? Of course, yes, I know him. You know him? Ah. Edna, do you know you are like a daughter to me? And I did not forget all the good things you did for my family. Even when you gave my husband 500,000 for his operation, I cannot forget that. <laughs> Even all the good advice you used to give me there. There is something I want to tell you. And I need those advice you used to give me then. Please, I need it. Come, let me tell you. Well, she confided in me that Barrister Tommy sweet talked her into faking to be Chief's wife and Patrick Chief's son. And after which, Patrick and his mother would take 20% and he would take 80% of it. 
Jesus Christ. See great. I, I wanted to discourage her not to get herself involved because that could end her in jail for the rest of her life. But when I was aware that it was this family, I had to tell her to play along. I warned Barrister Tommy to deceive from it that I would disgrace him, but he laughed at it. He forgot that this world is a small place, you know, that someone knows who you know. And after that, I had to inform the law enforcement officers. Um, are you saying that Stephen was going to be shortchanged by this man? I mean, what manner of greed? And to think that we trusted this bastard! Barrister! Barrister, you wrote in jail. Um, Mama Patrick, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm the one that's supposed to thank you. <laughs> At least my son and I would have been a problem. Officer, please do your job. Okay. Kai, you, 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 and you. Jump up! Jump up! See, if any of you stress me, I swear to God I will finish you. Move it! Barrister, please. I said, move it! See this to your head, I swear I will let it. Or you won't go. Cock! See, come on, Barrister. I will see Shelly for my hand. 